Alright, in this video we're going to be looking at how to make a ring similar to this. Um, a couple things to note about this, you'll see this this surface right here is actually the side of the the bottom profile here and it sort of loops into being the the inside. So it's kind of like a, a Mobius design. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on that. So I've got my uh, ring rail out here, as well as this uh, sphere I've made for the pearl. And what we're going to do here is just um, pretty much use a lot of curve from two views and blending to get this shape here. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do in our looking down view uh, So what we're going to do first is use, go into our curves menu and I'm just going to go to a little bit brighter color here and we're going to draw, oops, we're going to draw out some um, some curves for it. So it looks like this design sort of goes from about here and it kind of wraps around pretty big out here and comes down and then in our through finger view it looks like it goes something like this comes down to here alright so these are just some starter curves and um, I'm also going to build a profile for the bottom that we can use. So in my looking down view, I'm going to go into my creation layer and uh, let's say it's about three millimeters wide. I'll type three, hold down shift to go ortho straight out, and then uh, let's see, I'm going to make it about 1.8 and we'll move it in like this. It seems to have this sort of trapezoid shape. Alright, then I'm just going to mirror this one from the midpoint here and draw a connecting line. That's going to be our profile and we're going to go transform orient perpendicular to curve. And I'm going to go from the midpoint here and then I'm going to choose this curve here that we can orient it to and um, it is on the inside right now so we're going to go up and do a Y flip. I'll flip it upside down and I'm just going to put one at the bottom here. All right. And I believe that kept it in four pieces. That's what we want. Alright, so let's go ahead and start making some curves here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, ring rail. I'm going to do a duplicate from the midpoint to this outer area. And then I'm going to split this with a point split it at the quads right here and I'm going to split it at the midpoint down at the bottom so we'll delete this top half and I'm going to delete this side as well so now we've got this here so we've got some curves set up here and now let's start doing some curve from two views so I'm going to go to my curve menu curve from two views I'm going to select this rail and this rail alright and that's going to give us uh, this interesting um, curve here that kind of represents both of them. And now, uh, let's go ahead and do some blending. So I'm going to go to Blend with Handles, select this curve and this curve. Now it looks pretty funky at first, um, but what I'm going to do is move this end and I'm going to drag it up here to the quad point. So now you can see it sort of takes this new uh, freeform shape here. And in my through finger view, I'm going to go ahead and start pushing and pulling on these handles and see what we can uh, get it to look like. Make sure I'm doing this right. Actually, uh, that's wrong. What we need to do here actually is put a a polyline down at this end and do a straight out with shift because this area up here is actually going to correspond with this curve 
So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Do the blend curve handles. And let's drag this guy up to the quad. There we go, that looks better. Now let's start uh, moving this one in and out. Let's see. Alright, we're just pushing and pulling these handles. I want to keep this mid area right here around around two millimeters or so to keep it comfortable. And so I'm just gonna keep pushing and pulling these out a little bit until we get something nice here. This this looks pretty good so far. So I'm gonna hit OK. And you'll notice this other curve disappeared. Um what was happening there is I used a uh, blend with handles and actually let me just show you that again. We'll undo that and we'll do blend with handles from this curve to this curve. We're going to move one endpoint up to the quad and up here in the command line you'll see we've got some options. Right now I have trim set to yes so because I moved this endpoint of where it's going to be blending once it finishes it's going to cut this line and delete this part and trim it off and um, there's also join. You can set it so that it'll join these two curves once they're done, but I'm just going to throw this curve down here away so we don't need to. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to these handles here. Trying to keep a nice even shape along here. Let's bring this in a little bit more. pretty good. So we'll go ahead and keep that. Put that on blue here. So that looks like a, a pretty nice curve here. And um, now let's start. Uh, let's keep working on that. Uh, for this inside curve, what's actually going to happen is I'm going to do a duplicate of this one and bring it over to this side. So we've got another curve area here. And uh, see what's going to happen here is I'm going to mirror this one over and then I'm going to blend this curve to this curve cuz that that's how it appears in in the picture for this uh Mobius type design uh so let's go ahead and come down here and hold shift so we can adjust these equally and I'll bring it down to about the finger rail all right we'll hit enter so now we've got a new curve there, and then to finish up this curve back right here, I'm going to go ahead and mirror this one as well. I'm going to mirror from F4, and oops, and now you'll see we have it right up here. So let me go ahead and hide this center one so we can see what we're working with. And what I'm going to do here is, actually I don't really need this piece anymore. That's just kind of there for a guide. So I'm going to do my blend with handles from this piece to this piece. And uh, it kind of goes weird, so we're going to move this end down. Um, now you'll see it's starting to take shape here. Let's go ahead and bring the pearl back. Uh, we want to keep this one coming down some more. There we go. We want that to come right around that pearl. Let's see. this down a little bit. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we're just going to start pushing and pulling these a little bit more. Alright, that looks pretty good. So we'll hit enter. We can delete this part. Alright, so now we've got the start of our ring here. Uh, some weird looking curves, but now we're going to start uh, surface modeling the rest of it. So, let's go ahead and get this inside surface swept. Actually, you know what, let's do the outside, and uh, 
if we sweep it with just this flat curve, it's going to make it flat all the way around. And we need to have sort of a, a round concave shape right here. So let's go ahead and hide this ball, and we're going to put some points out here. I'm going to use my curve point tool. One right here and one right here. So now I'm going to go into my side view and use the arc direction uh, from this point, which is actually the quad, to this point up here. And I'm going to bring it down about like that. That looks pretty good. And then right here at the mid, we're going to put another profile line, say right about here, and we're just going to go to the perp. So that's going to keep it flat. And then let's join these two together. And let's put one curve over here. Alright, so let's start um, coloring some of these things so we have a, an idea of what we're doing. These are going to be